Hello and welcome to my channel. Here I am today with a Winnebago Nevion that is sitting on a beautiful uh, Mercedes chassis. A total of uh, 25.6 uh, foot long, great classy motorhome and we'll do a quick tour. automated uh, steps that open up as soon as you open the door with this beautiful aircraft looking door welcomes you. It comes with a little uh, storage space right here at the bottom of the door, Some uh, another storage space a cubby up here, a beautiful sturdy handle, a great door latch and a privacy curtain so that you can block the view from the outside and be able to see who's knocking at your door. So let's walk inside. This 25.6 uh, Nevion is very open and very spacious as you walk in. And the reason is because it's got a slide. There's a slide out right here where the sofa resides. And that makes the whole cabin immediately very spacious and welcoming. As I told you before, it sits on a Mercedes chassis. It's a diesel engine, so as far as I uh, researched, it gives you 15 to 18 miles per gallon. That is unheard of for a Class C motorhome, so it's all about Mercedes after all. A very classy look. This is by Winnebago again and Navion. A beautiful open galley concept in the kitchen the tv and the sound bar where you can enjoy viewing right here from this uh, double sofa that can actually turn into a double bed so that's great and the kitchen comes with double sinks they're deep farm style nice sink and a convection stove alongside a single burner propane uh, stove. Lots of drawers, very, very deep. Three of them, precisely. Press to open these lock mechanisms and you can see there's huge space underneath the, um, the sink, uh, water filtration, a little cubby, on the door where you can put your things and a regular microwave makes this a very comfortable kitchen these uh, winnebago logo i love these a lot because they can actually serve as a hook you can hang your jacket your keys your uh, leash for your dog anything like that that's really really cool above the cab here of the mercedes as you can see the ladder there's actually uh, a double bed that can be very, very comfortable since this is, uh, I think, three or four inch uh, foam. And it's got these uh, curtains right there. On both sides, you have a window, a reading light, and this makes it a very comfortable uh, area to sleep uh, two more people. And right above us, there's a Max Air fan. Above the sofa, you have these overhead bins. Let's see. They're very nice, carpeted, pretty deep, and they also have a crossover. So if you have anything long, like your fishing pole, rods, anything like that, they could easily fit in there. A Coleman air conditioning, and everything is ducted. Right next to the kitchen, you have your freezer, refrigerator. Very nice uh, residential style almost, as far as the size. Above the refrigerator you have your control center your solar charge controller your slide in and out button your holding tank heater and all in one place uh you know tank level battery level and uh water pump activation uh center that i really like because i have this in my rv as well as we move to the bedroom area we have a hanging wardrobe where you can hide and host your dinette table with its leg which 
goes right there. You have two positions where you can install it. You can either put it here, swivel these two chairs and enjoy the table right there, or you can put it right here and enjoy it while you're sitting here on the sofa and watching a movie or some uh, game or anything like that. The bedroom, as you can see, is in the back. Very spacious, two single beds connected in between with this cushion. And then you can use it as, as I said, like as two twins, or you could use this and put it right here in a center. Now you have a huge California king size bed. Let me know in the comments whether if you would use this as a huge bed like this or use it as two twins. And if you're a solo traveler, you know, use this as your sofa and sleep on either beds. Cause you could also use these uh, just like that if you wanted to lounge and lay down, read a book. Above the bed, you have multiple very European overhead bins. Again, cut through so you can utilize it as long as uh, your items are. And it goes all the way to the back. Very nice, deep with these press button locks. There's two more right in the back and two more on the driver's side. So that's plenty of storage space. There's another or a wardrobe, a hanging wardrobe with shelving unit. Before we leave the bedroom, I wanted to show you there's also another TV here in the corner. You have your shades, privacy shades, mosquito nets. You can use them half or half. And then you have these uh, European style windows that can also open as awning so you don't have to worry of closing them on a rainy night rainy day that's very very nice you just push it out and they just come in and you just close them like so let's do them half and half underneath the bed on both sides we have two big drawers again added uh, space for storage very nice and here is your bathroom a nice uh, towel rack at the door a sink with some storage space underneath a porcelain toilet with a medicine cabinet above a ventilation fan. The air conditioning is uh, coming through here too, so that's a very nice feature. And a corner shower with a widget door and a skylight above, so it's pretty uh, decent size. Let me show you how the uh, bathroom looks like. I'm 5'9". And I can fit obviously perfectly, but if you were up to probably six, four or so, you could easily fit here. And the space is uh, very uh, comfortable. And not to mention that this bar is for hanging your towels, your clothes, you can easily remove it. And this way you actually have no problem. So sorry for that earlier, cause that was in my way, but now you can see that it's very comfortable and you easily put this back in there you go done yep that's your bathroom that's your shower very nice there's also a heating duct at the bottom one more thing about the slide when it's in a closed position the slide moves all the way to here approximately halfway through the cabin so that actually allows you to pass through still be able to utilize the sofa if you want to in a very cramped position uh, utilize the kitchen the bathroom and the back the bedroom a small slide but it adds so much into the cabin 
and it definitely comes with a uh, awning on top of the slide so you don't have to worry about uh, debris or leaves or anything like that you don't have to clean before you travel or before you close that you have here your black waste tank flush inlet this is uh, exhaust and uh, air intake of your uh, propane heater your truma aqua coat right here that's your water heater here's your outside shower your space where your 30 amp cable resides let's take a look at this one that's a black water tank let's go to the next one and here you have your propane tank so there's no storage on this side let's check the other side oh nice uh, storage space that is underneath the bed accessible both from this side and the back or the passenger side you have your ladder to climb up a rear view camera this is the same as far as the under the bed storage space storage other storage nope the Onan uh, 3600 generator and a bigger size storage. So this was a very quick tour of the Navion by Winnebago. So what do you think? Write down in the comments below, would you like one? Um, it reminds me of the Echo with the two twin beds in the back. So what do you think? Hope you liked this video. If you did, please like the video, comment below and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, see you on the road.